Hello and welcome to Lloyd Southlake's BMW. Today we have this X7 M50D finished off in Arctic Grey Metallic. This is an October 2020 registered vehicle with some lovely options selected on the extremely high standard specification of the X7. Starting off at the front we've got the M Performance styling with the serum grey accents, that matte serum grey accents around the kidney grills there. That extends around to the lower part of the front bumper. Full LED adaptive headlights as standard with the high beam assistance functionality. Coming around to the 22 inch individual Y spoke alloy wheel, bicolour finish. So we have this diamond cut front with that darker grey inlay, which really makes the wheels pop and stand out. And also emphasises the blue brake calibers there, the operated M Performance braking system. The serum grey accents also continue around this sort of wheel arch there along the lower sill up to the M Performance badging decal and the mirror caps it really ties in the M Performance styling cues the sub protection glass there at the rear the rear tinted windows obviously element of privacy for the rear of the vehicle there is a UV element there as well so it helps protect the rear passengers from harmful UV rays along with keeping the cabin cooler on those hot days rear of the car we've got the Syrian grey stripe there linking the two rear tail lights along with the M50D badging the X7 badging, and also the exhaust tips and a bit of a decal, a little bit of a trim piece there as well, all finished off in that matte and grey. Power tailgate is standard on the X7, obviously, with the lower section as well powered. If I touch a button, or you can link that with the standard opening system for the key. This is the seven-seater variant of the X7. Rear passengers also benefit from their own sunroof there. Heated seats, and obviously we've got the full Skylines Parrot sunroof as well, which I'll go into a bit more detail when I go to the back doors. Configuring the seats is very, very easy. We have the full touch system here, so from dropping everything down for maximum load capacity to maximum seating capacity, or all the sort of combinations possible. You can obviously just have one side row down for one large item if you still need people in the vehicle very easy to use and set up moving around to the rear of the car full comfort access on this vehicle so as long as the keys in your person a few different ways to access set it up so you can either set it up so when you put your hand on the door handle the car unlocks and then you go and then on leaving you can touch it and it will lock the vehicle or you have the next stage which is as long as the keys on your person as you approach the vehicle from three meters away the key will the car will recognize your key set up a welcome light so if it's dark it lights up the road a bit around you lights up the lights so you can see the car see what's going on around the vehicle puddle lights for instance door handle lights and as you're about a meter away the car actually fully unlock so there's no delay in getting into the vehicle inside we've got the bmw individual extended marina leather the black marina leather some lovely grey contrast stitching details, and that beautiful quilting effect on the front seats, this second row, and also the third row as well. And that extended marina leather runs through all the touch points in the vehicle. So, top of the door cards, the door handles there, the grab handles, and the window controls, everything finished off in this beautiful marina leather. As I mentioned, we've got the full Sky Lounge panoramic sunroof. Sky Lounge differs it from a standard panoramic with some roof with the built-in LED lights. So you might to pick those little dots up in there. So it lets a nice amount of light into the cabin during a beautiful day like this. And then when it gets a bit darker, this springs into life with the ambient lighting system. And just gives a fantastic ambience to the inside of the car. I see rear seats also have their own heated seats, outer seats. And obviously full four zone climate control settings there. Just no USB ports and 12 volt socket at the bottom. Moving to the front of the car. Again, so the extended arena leather finishes in all the touch points of the vehicle. Full Gavanic finish to all the touch points as well, the switch gear. And the driver also has a lot of control in terms of the rear seats from his driver's seat. Harman Kardon surround sound Dolby 7 system as standard on the X7. And finishing off those Muni seats for the driver and front passenger, we have the full comfort seat, 
with a phenol amount adjustment on them. Also a memory function as well. So lumbar support, side bolster support, endless adjustment on the actual system here to really get the seat set up perfectly for you. Obviously with the electric steering wheel adjustment as standard, that can all be saved to your profile and to a key, for instance, as you approach the car, remember knows who's coming to the vehicle. It will then set it, the whole vehicle up for you, not only seating position, mirror position, steering wheel, but also this latest BMW OS7 operating system. We have in front of us with a live copy professional. This is fully configurable, give the information you want to see here, and also, like I said, touch points in terms of control as well. This car also benefits as well from the head-up display. You can just see, hopefully see that in front of us, projected on the windscreen. Currently, they've got the speed on the right and the speed limit display on the left. Speed limit is a system which uses a, rear, a camera in the rearview mirror, along with the satellite navigation. Gives you clear information about the information of the road, speed limits, and any restrictions. And then information is projected on the car as of when you need to see it. So incoming call alert, you'll get that projected on the windscreen. Turn by turn information for the navigation as of when you need to have some information that's projected. And also, if you want to change things like the radio station, that can all be projected on the windscreen. Keeping your eyes focused on the road. Much less tiring on a long journey because you don't have to readjust when you're looking at other systems, other displays. Just concentrate on the road ahead. Like I said, this is running the latest BMW OS 7 operating system. We have this page set up. So we've got these different pages you can set up to give the information that you want to see. And that's relevant to you and your journey. Obviously, you can just enlarge into the large screen map as we need all those details of where you're going or where you are. So your full dual zone climate control is standard in this vehicle. Passengers obviously have their own heated seats. Down in this hidden part we've got cup holders, wireless charging pad, and obviously additional USB and 12 volt socket charging points. This car's running the full air suspension, so that's in 20 mil increments. We are on the first, currently in the lowest setting. Makes it very easy to enter and exit the vehicle. And obviously you can raise it up all the way 80 mil higher. If so desire. This is a full automatic system, so it will vary at different speeds. It will lower a little bit to do a standard driving mode, just to make the car more stable at high speed as well. Hill descent, also automatic handbrake, all the different driving modes with full adaptive functionality, so that will adapt to how you're driving the car, both suspension, steering, throttle response, and it all adapts to you. Got the full parks system professional in this vehicle, so full surround view, free seat to surround view. For model mounted detail, we even have this 3D view, for instance, so you can actually zoom around different points of the car, either by using the screen, or you can use gesture control as well. And this functionality also links to the My BMW app, so you can actually view your vehicle from, say, your holiday destination to see what's going on around your vehicle. That's got a built-in drive recorder as well, uh, its own BMW dash cam using the 360 view. So no need for any sort of additional cameras to be fitted, any sort of wiring issues fully built into the BMW system. Moving to the steering wheel, we have the driving system professional, so that's full adaptive cruise control with lane assistant as well, so help you keep you in lane, help you change lanes. And obviously with the speed limit display, it's a phenomenal amount of driving assistance that offers you. All the different modes and settings on the left. On the right, we have all the audio controls, volume controls, as I said, you've got the touchscreen, the try and test eye drive down the middle, along with the Hey BMW full voice activation system. So you have to touch a button, just talk to the car, and it will interact with you and do what you ask it to. This car has 1,898 miles on it. It's been our head of business vehicle. And it's fantastically presented in this beautiful specification. Along with the comfort access, we do have the soft closed doors as well. As I mentioned, I have raised the car up now, so from its lowest setting, that has been raised for anything you need to do in terms of parking up off-road or a bit better ground clearance. Hope this video's been of use. Beautiful X7 specification on this car. If anything else we could do, do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.